son Patrick doesn't go to school, my son Angelo has been refused by 25 schools. Sometimes you think, oh, it's not fair because we've got two kids and oh, we're autistic. And then you think, oh, who's it not fair to? Is it not fair to me? Or is it not fair to them for having it? But then I think, well, they've got it already and they've always had it, so maybe they don't know any different. The last few days has been particularly hard. I'm having to juggle everything and I feel like that Patrick and Angelo have been left out a little bit, um, not getting as much of me as they should be. However, they shouldn't be seeing me all day anyway, they should be at school, so I'm not superwoman. Well, sure if you had a magic wand. But then if you had a magic wand, your kids wouldn't be autistic because you'd be able to wave it away. <laughs> I've got two lovely boys. Angelo was diagnosed with autism when he was two. And Patrick was diagnosed when he was four years old as having Asperger's syndrome, which is a form of autism. But no one told us until he was seven. Angelo was in a local nursery until last year, and he was doing okay, but we were asked to remove him. He's now six and still isn't in full-time education. It's been impossible to find a school which caters for my son's special needs. My husband, Sean, works hard as an IT manager. My job is to look after the kids at home. It's a 24-hour job. Oh, S. Angelo might have speech problems, but he's not stupid. Angelo's made postman, pat, cat, van, sheep, dog, bag, letter, cup. Well done, Angelo. Well done. The 25 schools we approached that rejected Angelo were all special needs schools within an hour's drive of where we live. They were all full. <coughs> Thomas. Thomas the Tank Engine. Do you know what, Camera? I'm too bored. But I am a paleontologist. Because I study fossils on the computer. Parasaurolophus, Compsonaphus, Pachycephalosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Stegosaurus, Velociraptor, Triceratops, and Tyrannosaurus rex. Patrick did go to mainstream school for three years, but I had to battle with him every single day to get him there, and I knew it was doing him more harm than good. Angelo exists as if he's in a world of his own. Patrick can get on fine with other kids, but sometimes they just can't work him out at all. Stupid I am. I know you're not stupid at all. I don't know why you think you're stupid, because you're not. Because I am stupid. Do you know about dinosaurs? Do you? Well, if you know about dinosaurs and you can say all those hard words, you're definitely not stupid. 
One of my friends called me stupid crazy head. If people say things to you that you don't like, you just say, please don't say them. And then if they keep saying them, just walk away. Or if mummy's there, just come and tell me and I'll deal with it. Okay? And I don't know what you'll say. Well, I said, please don't call Patrick names because he is a very clever boy. Ah! Stupid, 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 stupid! As you can hear, Patrick thinks he's stupid and he's crazy. He's in one of those moods today and whatever you say, no matter how you put it, he doesn't change his mind. So. I'm not quite sure now if he's becoming more aware of that he's different. I'm stupid. I'm stupid, Ed, now. Oh, dear, it hurts me. So he's not stupid at all. Crazy. Crazy. Patrick, you're not crazy at all. And I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that word in this house again. Thank you. <laughs> Why does he want dirty clothes on, Mummy? Hang on for two days, that jumper. He can't wear it again. Go away! Socks. No, the socks are dirty. about Patrick and Angelo not having a proper education. A friend told me about a disused school near where I live and I thought I'd have a look around. What a waste of a building. I heard the school used to cater for kids with special needs and it got me thinking. What if this school could be set up for children with autism? It just looked ideal to me. Patrick had been offered a place in a summer play scheme for children with special needs. I didn't like to refuse. I knew it would be difficult getting him there and I was glad that my mother-in-law was visiting for a few weeks and could give me a hand. I'm not going, I'm going to burn it all up. I'm going to burn it all up. No, no, don't. Oh, don't stop that. Listen to that, will you? No, don't. 